Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to Reflections 2020, our first ever virtual Reflections celebration. I'm Dr. Edward A. Franklin, Jr. I'm the chair of the Alumni Committee and also a member of the Foundation Board and a proud alumni of the class of 1972. Reflections is our opportunity to celebrate the successes of your college, SUNY Corning Community College. We will be hearing from past award winners and outlining some of our programs and celebrating the successes that we have enjoyed working together at SUNY Corning Community College. Without a doubt, this is a very interesting time we all find ourselves in with the pandemic and different stressors in community colleges. Hopefully we'll all celebrate tonight the resiliency and the ability of your college to be able to adapt these circumstances. This is a great event to celebrate, have fun, and stay informed with your college, Corning Community College. During this evening, we will have a number of presentations, and I hope you will thoroughly enjoy yourself. It is now my pleasure to introduce the seventh president of Corning Community College, Dr. William Mullaney. Dr. Mullaney, they're all yours. Good evening. My name is Bill Mullaney, and I serve as the president of Corning Community College. One of the many wonderful things about being president of the college is learning about all the rich traditions that make the school such a student center. I had the chance to experience the success of some of our current students at the scholarship recognition ceremony, and then the excitement of prospective students at a recent open house. And now tonight, we celebrate our alumni, those who walked these halls and went on to distinguish themselves in some meaningful way. Speaking of traditions, the first Reflections event was held nearly 20 years ago. Since that first event, CCC has celebrated 90 alumni awardees, 23 Athletics Hall of Fame inductees, 16 Founders Community Partner Award recipients, and 20 Distinguished Alumni Award recipients. Since coming to town, I've met so many people who have been so proud to tell me they graduated from the college. I've met them at community meetings, speaking engagements, sporting events, and of course, weddings. In many ways, that pride is one of the best recruiting tools for the college. To be competitive, we need to do things such as holding recruiting events in high schools and telling our story through social media and other venues. But I am becoming more and more convinced that the word of mouth from our alumni is probably one of the most effective tools for recruitment. I think that point was driven home most powerfully to me last year when the college hosted its Tri-County Annual Chamber event. Besides the warm welcome I received from everyone, what I remember most about the night is how many of these community members were CCC graduates. I realized how essential the college is in creating the dedicated citizens that make up our community. One final story before I go. I was having dinner last summer on Market Street and I was talking to my server. She said that she was home for the summer but would be returning to her university to finish her bachelor's degree in the fall. However, she told me that she loved her time at CCC. She had started at a four-year school directly out of high school, and it was a total disaster. She came home to Corning and completed her associate's degree here. Her professors, she told me, were amazing, and everyone here was so helpful. She mentioned that when she graduated from CCC, all the credits that she earned here transferred to her university, which was music to my ears. She said that her current university was fine, but nothing like CCC. I think my encounter with this young woman highlights an important misconception we have about alumni. I think the conventional wisdom says that alumni are most loyal to the place where they earn their bachelor's degree. I think in truth, they are most loyal to the place where they were treated like individuals, the place where people cared about them, and the place where they learned the most. If Corning Community College continues to treat students like the woman I met, we can truly build an alumni association that rivals the best of them. Congratulations to all tonight's recipients. Thank you. I have fond memories of Corning Community College, probably dating way back to when I was a little girl. My father was a, a professor at Corning Community College, so I really grew up um, as part of the CCC community, uh, literally. And, um, you know, I remember as a, a student at CCC, 
uh, just having an appreciation for uh, an opportunity to be in classes that were, um, you know, engaging, um, felt small enough that I felt connected to um, my, my peers and, and my professors. Um, and I remember it really being, you know, the beginning of my launch into um, my future. And it was an opportunity for me to really kind of navigate what my interests were and um, make some long-term decisions for myself with a, a start that kept me close to home and, and where I was familiar. I'm a, a big believer in education as a pathway to the future. Um, and so I continued my education and I ended up back in, in the area. And I um, you know, was born and raised in Corning, New York. And um, my family and I are, are here um, raising my own children um, here in the community. I, you know, I, I ended up working as a guidance counselor um, for many years. I work in the Elmira City School District, uh, 23 years now in the district. Um, and I was a, a guidance counselor originally, um, moved into the administrative world and now work as the superintendent of schools for the Elmira City School District. Um, so just continued my commitment to um, being a local, a local, local girl. So, and I'm a big advocate for Corning Community College. I, I often would say to students in my roles throughout the year um, that, you know, CCC is really what got me to where I am today. Um, I really found that it was just the perfect start for me, a great opportunity for me to explore my interests and make a, a good plan for myself. Um, and I'm a, I'm a big advocate for students who are, um, you know, looking at that option. For me, it was it was fun being there because the library was sort of a bit of a haven for me. Um, and, you know, coming out of high school and going into CCC, I wasn't really sure what it was that I wanted to do. I, I suddenly discovered calculus and I loved math. And, and so this whole idea of math science, the math science program, which I ended up in, um, you know, it appealed to me, but I didn't know where that would take me. And so I literally spent hours and I remember like in the, even in the winter, like trekking over to the library and, uh, you know, finding kind of a nice quiet corner and sitting down and, and, you know, digging into, you know, digging in and doing research and trying to figure out where would that take me? And, you know, someone had pointed me toward engineering at some point. And so, um, so that's where, you know, that's where I ended up uh, going with all of that was, you know, CCC launched me into, you know, the next chapter of my life at another SUNY school. And uh, um, although in the, in the end, I ended up in animation for someone like myself, um, you know, no one else in my family had ever, had ever gone on past high school. And to, to go on to, you know, Corning initially was such a great step and that sort of guidance that they, that they gave and, uh, and that ability to encourage people. And I think these awards are, are really, it's such a nice thing to kind of, um, you know, to have these awards for people and, and get that recognition because it really shows the up and coming students, you know, where they can go with that career you know, and, and, or where they can go with that education. I think it's really important. So, so I'm glad you guys are doing this. After I did my two years at CCC, I went on to uh, SUNY Buffalo um, and Buffalo University, and I went into an aerospace and mechanical engineering program and went through that, enjoyed it, um, and came out the other end and said, I don't want to be an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> and um, but actually ended up using all of that knowledge and all that experience in terms of problem solving and everything and ended up in as a as a visual effects supervisor um, in animation and visual effects. And, you know, I, I, I came out, I, I worked at Corning for a little while as a as a um, design specialist and then and then went on to uh, Disney animation. And it was so much fun, you know, because it was just one of those things where um, you, you just, it was so, it was very creative, but at the same time, as you're doing that, you, you're problem solving, you're, you're, you're creating a process. And it was all so new at that time because it was, well, Disney was in that transition from 2d to, to 3d and starting to do CG animated, uh, projects. And so, you know, and so, you know, now, I do more of that. I've uh, been a head of CG, a visual effects studio here in Montreal. And, uh, and now I'm switching back from, 
from what I would characterize as a more technical role to where it is very much almost like an engineer in that sense of, you know, you've got all of these projects that you need to do and you've got to find a way to get it done. And you've got to sort of set milestones and figure out the, the whole, um, uh, the technology needed for, for everyone from launching a rocket to, um, to, you know, to, you know, submarines and, and, you know, battleships and, and all of that. So it's, so it's a lot of fun dealing with that, with those visuals. And then, and then now I'm heading back into the creative realm in terms of being more of a, uh, a creative um, director um, back in animation, you know, anim- animated films. So it's, it's really fun to see where you can go with, uh, with, you know, with, with these careers, you, you know, with these skills that you learn um, at a school like Corning. So one of my favorite CCC memories, uh, I was in the engineering science degree field and uh, we had to take engineering orientation classes and our, uh, we got put into groups and the project was to build a catapult essentially. So we got to launch water balloons at the admin building, like across the quad. You weren't supposed to hit the admin building. It was far enough away but that was probably one of my favorite memories and it was one of the most fun ones. And it um, was a lot of work outside of, you know, just the actual competition, um, getting together with your teams. And we thankfully had people who knew how to weld so we could weld our catapult together and everything. That was probably one of the most fun memories was getting to launch water balloons on the CCC quad. <laughs> one of my fond memories at CCC was being a tutor at the Math Learning Center. Um, it was a great place that brought, you know, everybody together to go do our homework. Um, being an engineer, all of my friends and I, we spent most of our time outside of class in the math learning center. And, um, so not only did I work there as a tutor and get to help other students with their math and physics, um, but it was also just a great hangout space for my friends and I to work on our homework. And, um, a lot of engineering stuff is in the real world is all project team-based. So, you know, collaborating on homework was a great tool to move forward with into the actual real world outside of CCC. Some of my best memories from Corning Community College are um, winning the national title with my team um, in 1997. And then um, uh, Stacy Johnson, the second year we went to nationals, she um, helped the people that were graduating, um, she walked us through graduation when they were setting it up um, because we were going to miss graduation. So she actually gave us our diplomas and that was a great memory because that was something um, that's a high accomplishment for a lot of people. And um, we were going to miss that. So Stacy made sure that we had some kind of memory in that area. So I went on to play softball at Stony Brook University in Long Island. Um, I came home and went to Alfred University to get my master's degree in school counseling. And I am currently a school counselor at the Corny Painted Post Middle School. Um, I've been there for a couple of years, so enjoying it. Because I know how many people have graduated from this fine institution. There are many opportunities to be a distinguished for them. So thank you for that, and thank you for all the people that contributed to make this event possible. And also thank you to my wife, Nancy, uh, to Marie Coleman, who nominated me for this award, and to my friends and family who come to witness this honor with me. So I'd like to share with you some of the thoughts that I have about Corning Community College and the transformational role that it played in my life. I know that some of the things I'm going to tell me are not things that would appear on my resume or my bio, so I might ask that you keep them to yourselves. Um, and I'd like to be able to start by saying that the reason I came to Corning Community College was because I had to work in the fields to keep my large family fed, and I had to be close to home. And being one of seven children, that's the only part of that story that's true. <laughs> because my mom and dad 
put education in the same category as food, clothing, and shelter. They would have done anything to send me to any school I wanted to go to. But the truth of that is, I had my worries in my school, and doing homework wasn't one of them. <laughs> and I was so certain that I could not gain admission to a four-year institution of our work that I could even apply. And I was very happy to come to Corning Community College. I felt very good about it. I have no idea how Corning Community College felt like me, <laughs> but I was very happy to be a part of this institution. And one should think that because Corning Community College admits students of less than stellar academic records, that they compromise their academic standards to kind of give them a nudge to get through. Because when I was here, I had friends at other colleges and universities in the country. And I know that the curriculum that we use in freshman calculus and the textbook that we use was the same curriculum and textbook that we used by students at MIT. And in my physics class, we used the textbook by Resnick and Holiday. It was exactly the same textbook. We worked exactly the same problems as the students of SUNY Binghamton and the students of Red State Polytechnic Institute. So I love my time at Corning. And while I never made the honor roll in high school, there are probably people here that can attest to that. <laughs> um, my first semester at Corn, I made the Dean's test. I see that you're all as surprised as I was. <laughs> but the, the experience, while it may have been my only option, it served as the foundation for me to earn the privilege of a 30-year public service career to our country. So I would say to the faculty, the administration, and all the people who support this college, you have a noble mission, a mission that transforms the lives of people. And when you see that student at your door in September, coming through as a bit of a chucklehead and guidance, <laughs> you should know that one day he's going to take what he learned from you and leave here and do something that makes you proud. And in closing, I'd like to say I accept this award with the deepest humility and gratification. And thank you. You know, to, to be honored as a student, you know, the, the thousands and thousands of students that uh, walk, the, walk the halls and the sidewalks of Corning Community College deserve to be honored. Um, and to think that I was thought of by um, prior professors and, um, you know, people from Corning Community College as worthy of an award like this uh, was certainly a humbling feeling. Um, and I, I'm very grateful and thankful. So... My reaction when I was notified that I was an alumni award winner was uh, one of surprise, shock, and disbelief. Um, you know, at that point, I was um, I was working for Disney Animation. Uh, I'd you know suddenly gotten on this trajectory of of entertainment uh, after having come out of uh, an engineering program and discovering uh, 3D modeling applications and, and tools and um, and then, um, and I don't even remember how I got contacted. It just, for me, it felt like it just kind of came out of nowhere. And I was so excited because, you know, they, 
I was living in California at the time, so it was a great opportunity to kind of fly back east and, and you know, have my family uh, come and, and visit. And I think, uh, or, you know, go and visit with my family, but also have them come to the event. And I think, I think that was one of the exciting things about it, too, is that, uh, you know, for me to get that award, it was as much, you know, for them as it was for me, uh, you know, because they had helped me to, to, to get to that place. So. First reaction when I was notified um, that I was an alumni award winner was uh, it was extremely humbling. Um, so I was nominated and awarded the one to watch award. So it just is an extremely humbling thing to realize that, you know, your professors see you as being a successful person beyond CCC and beyond education and making it in your career. Um, so it's, that was really it that I just felt extremely humbled to be nominated, first of all, and then to actually be in a, a recipient as well. So when I first found out I was nominated for the award, I was very surprised, honored, and grateful um, because uh, the accomplishments that that team had made that year were awesome, and we were being recognized for that. I think for me, you know, my family was there. I have four daughters, um, and I really think it's important for young ladies um, to see their moms in, in positions of being recognized for hard work. Um, and their efforts. And, you know, for me, I think it was just a really nice opportunity for them to see that, you know, the preaching of hard work does pay off. Um, hard work really does pay off. So it was just a nice feeling. I remember about the night that I received the, uh, the, the award at the Reflections event was, um, uh, well, I, several memories. Uh, you know, I, the, the whole thing of being introduced, um, you know, by Nancy that evening and, uh, and, you know, being nervous of being up there in front of, you know, so many other people, so many other, you know, some of the other award nominees that were there and, uh, and seeing how, how much um, some of the other um, nominees had had done already in their careers, you know, and, and where I felt like I was just starting out. So it was really, it was exciting to be there. But I think the other, the other thing that was really important and what stands out that night is, again, I keep going back to my parents, but that, that um, looking out as, you know, as I'm accepting it and, and talking about it and just, you know, seeing them beam, you know, this, this sort of, you know, excitement for, for being there and, you know, knowing, how much they had helped me get to where I was. And so there was, there was that aspect of it. And then I think, um, I think the other piece, and I've always loved this is um, going and talking with the students afterward, you know, cause they always ask such good questions and, you know, I've always wanted, you know, and I have, you know, participated as being a mentor when we have new people come in to, you know, start, uh, start at work or, or maybe they would come in and just, you know, do a bit of a mentorship and that. And so I've always enjoyed just, you know, sort of sharing as much as I can about, you know, how I've gotten to where I have or, or you know, um, you know, just little, little guiding steps, if you will. And <clears throat> there were, there was at least one student um, that, you know, we kept in touch for a while and, and, uh, and I kind of helped guide him a little bit toward his career. So, so no, it's been, it's been fun. I really enjoyed it. And, and it was a great event. So the biggest thing I remember about my reflections event was being nervous because we had to speak after we received our award. Um, but one of my fondest memories of that night was that all of us recipients got to attend in advance of when everyone else showed up. So it was great to be able to talk to other alumni who, you know, were not in my year um, and find out what awards they were receiving and what they were all doing now. So I think that was one of the great things about the event was that I got to speak to other alumni and other awardees and just, you know, all of us, I think, felt very humble to be part of the event and very honored to be recipients for those awards. My favorite memories of the awards night was that my family was there, my parents, my sister, my husband and kids, uh, friends of mine, they were all there to support and celebrate with me um, for our team that won the nationals and how much, um, we did that year. Um, it brought back a lot of memories of the friends I made at Corning. I made a lot of friends and some great memories. My teammates, of course, and the coaching staff. Um, and one of the other great memories is it, it 
after we won the nationals, um, the whole community got together and they had a parade for us down on Market Street when we came back home from Minnesota. So um, that was a great memory as well. So all those different kinds of things that we went through that year, um, the two years there, um, they all just brought back really great memories that we had. Words cannot express how grateful I am to be here. I feel like a lucky duck. <laughs> we used to have a band called Lucky Ducks. <laughs> Let me first introduce my guests. My wife, Judy, and I celebrated our 50th wedding anniversary this year. <laughs> this officially qualifies her for sainthood. <laughs> My mother, Rosetta, and sister Debbie. My mother, 92 years old, just celebrated her 92nd birthday. I'll ask her to stand just to show you that she can. You have to stand. I guess she, she can't do that right now. <laughs> My close friend, Tom Reedy, was hired exactly the same time I was. We've been close friends ever since. I always felt like we were teaching partners. I was new to teaching and Tom was more experienced. He shared his skills and knowledge openly and I was lucky to have him. As a matter of fact, I always felt like he was a partner and I'm gonna share all the money for this award with him. <laughs> our closest friends are also at our table, Pat and Mary Keeler. Two outstanding Corn Community College professors. They are retired and living, living happily ever after. <laughs> Corn Community, Community College has meant the world to me. I came here as a 22 year old veteran, fresh from the battlefields of Vietnam. At CCC, I encountered the utmost respect from faculty and fellow students. I never experienced any of the mistreatment that other Vietnam vets have. Again, I felt like a lucky duck. I encountered so many outstanding teachers that inspired me and shaped the future for me. I remember sitting in the library with my girlfriend, the beautiful Judy Grohl. We looked, we looked out the window and admired the view of the trees and Turtle Pond. That was when you could see Turtle Pond. And I said, wouldn't this be a great place to work? I came to CCC primarily because I wanted to wrestle. And in college, we had an outstanding coach and team. I was not disappointed in that respect. Ed Michael was an outstanding coach and became a friend for life. I sought advice from coach for every major career change. Since then, he has always been there and our friendship continues. I feel like a lucky duck. <laughs> I had very little understanding of what accounting was until I took my first accounting principles course with Dick Pettengill. Professor Pettengill put the love of accounting in me and Professor Bob Kelly enlightened and inspired me more in intermediate accounting. From that point on, I wanted to take only accounting courses. Lo and behold, I had to take liberal arts courses as well. CCC was full of outstanding instructors in all disciplines, and I learned and grew to appreciate biology, English, mathematics, psychology, sociology. I must say, one of my favorite professors was Professor Jack Wills, a biology teacher. I, I really had zero interest in biology. But Jack was an exceptional lecturer who got you on his way late and held your attention until before you knew it, an hour had passed and you were a bit wiser about genetics or photosynthesis. Jack deservedly received the New York State Chancellor's Award for Excellence in Teaching. For those of you who don't know, Jack recently passed away. I left Corning Community College with the confidence that I had a strong beginning on my education and I have been forever grateful for the many excellent examples of how to be a professional educator. I wanted to pursue the discipline of accounting and return to CCC as an instructor. My hope was that I could pay it forward, give to others the gift of education that would make a difference in their lives. I applied for a position at CCC in 1972 and was hired by Bob Kelly. 
or an accounting teaching position, I felt like a lucky duck. <laughs> I will be forever grateful for having worked with an outstanding cadre of great teachers at Corning Community College. CCC afforded our family the American dream. We raised our two children in the wonderful community of Corning. I am pleased to say both of our children are now in education. Son Bruno is a physical education teacher and coach in Tampa, and our daughter Bernadette is a preschool teacher in San Francisco. There was a song called Someday. The lyrics go, Someday, when my life has passed me by, I'll look around and I wonder why you are always there for me. I feel like I'm doing that right now. I look around and I wonder why my wife, my father, my mother, my sister, my close friends were always there for me. I can also say the same for Corning Community College. You were always there for me. I feel like a lucky duck. Do I look like a lucky duck? <laughs> well, what a wonderful evening. I hope you enjoyed all of the presentations and listening to our stories. Please make sure that you uh, check the links that we have provided and consider nominating an alum for one of these awards. Stay in touch with the college through our various publications and our internet presence. Of course, no event like this would take place without a lot of behind the scenes planning. And I would like to personally, on behalf of the Alumni Association, thank Angela May's team. Angela, uh, thank you for your team, for Jordan Anderson, and for Keisha Davis for the work you've done behind the scenes, being able to publish, produce, and make this event possible. Please stay in touch, please uh, have fun, and remember your college, Coyne Community College. I hope you enjoyed the evening as much as we all did. Enjoy, stay tuned, and we hope to be able to see you all in person one year from now. Good night all. Thank you for your participation.